question is, why do banks fear Bitcoin? So I do have some other videos that talk about some of the other topics that I raise here, and I will link those in the, in the description. But I'm, I really want to focus on the idea of banks fearing uh, Bitcoin. So when you look at it, well, what do you, what do banks do? Banks give out loans. Um, that's how they make the bulk of their money. They will uh, take, let's say, a thousand dollars from you um, as a depositor. Um, I'm gonna say like, hey, I'm gonna put a thousand dollars in my savings account, and they may pay like you, uh, let's say, one percent. So at the end of the year, if you just keep your money uh, in the bank, you'll have somewhere around a thousand and ten dollars and what they do is they actually will take your money um, and uh, loan it out to someone else so let's say they loan it to me they'll loan it to me but they're gonna loan it to me at let's say 15% or even 10% let's say 10% to make the math um, easy so if that loan had a, a term of a year I would end up paying a uh, hundred dollars in interest because it's 10% on the original principal of a thousand dollars or uh, uh, $1,100. So when we look at like if, you know, at the end of the year, you want to get your money back. I paid my loan on time. The bank has uh, how much money? And the, the amount of money is nine is $90. Why? Because uh, $100 was generated off of the 10% interest that I actually, um, I was willing to pay for that loan. So $1,000 times 10% is 100 minus the uh, 1% that they would give you, which is $10. So it's 100 minus 10 equals 90. Why is this important? I think the reason why, and I'm not a banker, that Bitcoin uh, really uh, fears, uh, it's so much fears uh, out there, it's because it's decentralized. I can actually go to someone else and say, you know, hey, um, I need $1,000 and it's X number of Bitcoin. Because of that, I now are eating at the business of the banks. The banks no longer have the secure investments of, you know, hey, I gave Elliot a thousand dollars. He gave me a hundred dollars addition um, at the end of the year, and I was only ha I only had to pay out, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, ten dollars. This actually dramatically changes because now instead of me going and borrowing money from the bank I can actually borrow a certain amount of Bitcoin and because of that let's say I get a, I lock in at a rate of, of 1% so somebody's willing to give me a thousand dollars or lend me a thousand dollars but they only want 1% growth or even 5% let's say 5% because that makes it a little bit better so now let's say um I loan, I get a loan from uh, my buddy Joe. Joe now gets $50 in his pocket. Um, I give him the $1,000 back plus the 50. And at the end of the day, you know, my loan rate is actually cheaper. I'm not paying 10% on the dollar. I'm actually paying 5% 5, 5 on the dollar. So what happens in that scenario with the banks? Well, the banks just don't, they're not even a part of that transaction. They lose. So now what's happening is Joe makes, you know, $50. I only have to pay 5% and I go, oh, wow, this is so much better. Well, this is a huge problem because now banks primarily make their money off of like loaning people money and gaining interest. That's pretty much the fundamental model of, of modern, day, modern day banking. Now, uh, there are other things that uh, banks can invest in to make money, but a lot of times it's, it's off of like savings and loans and it's not only savings and loans to individuals it's also savings and loans to uh, to uh, businesses but now you have this decentralized way of people being able to say like hey I'm not a bank I don't want 10% I want 5% why because I want to make sure that I'm getting a, a pretty solid rate of return on my money or you know you start looking at a lot of uh, people that are lower income um, lower income people have, uh, well, it, it, it is said that they have less of a chance to pay off the original debt. So therefore, it's a, a more risky investment. Because of that, you charge a higher percentage. 
So if I had, like, let's say, bad credit or low income, um, I would end up, you know, paying anywhere from, like, 10 to 20 percent off of an even small loan. Um, you, you start looking at some of these, like, payday loans, where people are like, hey, you know, I need to get a little bit of cash to be able to pay my bills. And they're getting charged anywhere from 15, 20, sometimes even 30% um, for these loans. So now you have the scenario where um, you can end up, you know, totally circumventing the banks. And people are, are, are transferring value, and, and it's through this, this, this alternative currency that's called Bitcoin. So that's the reason why I think banks fear Bitcoin, but... Hey man, that's just my take. Thanks for watching.